What's up guys? Here is the next uh, series here on this build is going to be the exhaust. So what I'm going to do is run the exhaust from here. Basically I'm going to try and go between the headers down the frame rails and probably just out underneath the truck under the, the passenger side somewhere. So this pipe is a, is a three and a half inch. That's about as big as we can get ish to go through here and still kind of clearance everything. So we're going to try and do this with pie cuts instead of having to wait, you know, a week to order some bins that we think we might need. So we have it mocked up basically. As you see here, I welded this part on right here already. Don't, don't mind the welds. It was, it's been a while since I welded, so they look like crap, but I'll fix them. But anyway, that's where we're starting. And then we have two more pie cuts right here. You can see them there. We just have them taped together for now. And so it's going to end up going like this. So we'll weld it just like that and we can we can still turn this and adjust it to get it to where we need to go but basically needs to go just about like this and then we're gonna do a few more pie cuts and start kicking it out you know out the bottom there so this is where we're at for this video i'm gonna try and get you know maybe these couple pie cuts tacked on and maybe fully welded i'm not sure if we're gonna fully weld it and just keep going along or if we're gonna try and tack the whole thing and then fully weld it because it does seem to move a little bit once you fully weld it, so I don't know. I haven't got that far yet, but I'm definitely going to start tacking these tonight, and then we'll we'll take it from there. So we'll keep you updated as we go along, and we'll see how it turns out. Continuing with the exhaust, coming out of the back of the turbo here. This is where we're at so far. I don't know if you guys saw this or not to this point, but this goes to the back of the turbo. And this goes down in by the headers. So, little change of plans. What we had to do was this is three and a half right here, and we were trying to get this to go kind of under the headers and then down the frame rail out the side. But the three and a half with the with the AC deal there, the headers, it was leaving just like a quarter inch of clearance, like on the top and the bottom. So, you know, as soon as the motor moved or twisted, it was going to hit the it was going to hit this pipe and probably rattle. So I really didn't want that. And um, we decided just to neck it down to three so this is where we're at we just have this taped on and we mocked it up this will give us a lot more clearance around the headers and the frame so we'll just have to run a three from here on out and then this is going to go down like a 90 um like over the frame rail, rail and then out the side under the truck so we're going to get this tacked up we had to cut we had a straight pipe on here the three and a half so we we're going to keep you know keep going with that so we cut that off right here uh got this at napa it's a three and a half to a three inch reducer and uh, we're going to make this work and then go with that and hopefully this will fit a lot better. We're still going to wrap this in the header and that was another thing. If, if the engine didn't move and it wasn't wrapped, the clearance probably would have been fine. If I had solid mounts, well I'm not going to put solid mounts on this thing and then with the, you know, with the headers being wrapped and this, it would have been, I mean it probably would have been touching and then as soon as the, the motor torqued, you know, under acceleration it would have, it would have been hitting it. So. Didn't really care for that, so like I said, this is why we're going down to a three inch. I really didn't want to, but um, that's kind of where we're at. I also thought about raising the motor, like putting a spacer underneath the the motor mounts to raise up the motor a little bit, but I didn't want to mess with, you know, have, have that throw off the pinion angle and get into a whole other set of problems <clears throat> that I wasn't prepared for. So this is how we're doing it. If we have to change at a later date, then so be it. But right now, that's, that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to get this tacked into place, and we're going to keep rolling. All right, continuation of the exhaust system. Here we go. So we ended up, I was hoping I could just make a whole long system and fit it in there, but obviously that wasn't gonna work. So we ended up having to cut it into two places and I had to get an exhaust clamp. So I just got a three inch exhaust clamp, basically just like this, I think I ordered off of Amazon or something, it was like 15 bucks. So there's that and I ended up cutting this right here as you can see. So this comes from the turbo. It's going to go down kind of underneath the headers and it's going to come out the bottom of the truck in front of the firewall like this. And then it's going to come down the bottom and exit somewhere over there. So since we're going to have to make it two pieces basically to get it in and out of the truck so I can service it if I have to. Um, I had to cut it right here and then we're just going to put the clamp in here and I can still get to these bolts on the engine side of the header. So what we did also is I made this little... This little piece with the pie cut, so this is going to kind of angle it where I want it going underneath the truck. 
So this is going to be in here like this with the clamp. Then this is going to come down something like this. And then we're going to have another piece coming down from here. So I'll show you real quick here without taking too long. And the way this works, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's, you know, you just put your, your pipe in here. And I've heard got mixed, mixed reviews kind of on how well these seal, but talking to some of the exhaust shops around here, this is pretty much my only option at this point. So we'll just do this and hope for the best. So that clamps together just like that. And of course you tighten that, but this will go, this is gonna come down in some orientation. I had it marked actually. It's gonna be something like that. And then this is gonna come down like this. I'll probably weld this piece on here. And I think I was just gonna have this pointing straight down out of the bottom of the truck. But I think that's gonna probably shoot the exhaust into the ground and then with it being hot, it's gonna come right back up into the cab or out the window. So what I'll probably end up doing is buying another 90 similar to this. And then I'll just 90 it straight back and at least point it back. I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna run a full exhaust like right now. I'm kind of in a kind of anxious to get this thing running at this point. It's been like four or five months now. So I think I might just point it straight back, maybe put a little pipe after the 90 to kick it back a little farther, but I don't know. Either way, I think that's gonna be that's gonna be kind of how I do it at this point. That shouldn't take too long. So in a day or two I'll get another 90. Right now I'm actually gonna tack this on. And once I get this on, then I'm gonna put this on and kind of measure it and see where I wanna see where I want to cut it for the 90 and then uh, I'm going to also weld a tab onto this probably right here and mount it under the truck somewhere just to hold this little the exhaust piece that comes off the turbo so because it shouldn't be moving at all really so I'm going to mount that to the frame just off a little make a little bracket coming off this just with a hole in it and uh, we'll see what happens so and tight, that's what we're going to do now. We'll get this tacked in here and then we'll take it from there. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so continuation of the exhaust build here. So, of course, this is the side that goes to the turbo and it's going to go out underneath the truck. So, after we do on some tests, after we were doing some test fitting, um, I decided to put the O2 sensor right here. So, this is the bung that actually comes with the Holly kit. Uh, for the O2 sensor and the O2 sensor comes with it as well. So this is kind of how it's set up. It's clamped in now and all I have to do is weld it up basically. So I'm going to weld it there. We just chose a spot to where we could easily get to it. Two feet? Know. Yeah and I, by what I've been reading on the forms it needs to be about two feet downstream of the turbo so it's, it's in there somewhere. It's close. So I figured this was an easy, probably the best place to put it and I can get to it easily from the engine bay in there. So and, and you'll, we'll, we'll, I'll show you where, where it uh, comes out. Once I get it, once I get it welded in there, and I'll show you guys. But it's, it's, it'll real, be real easy to get to. Just get to it with a wrench, and it's out in the open. So that's kind of what I what I'll shoot for. I put it right here. So I'm gonna get this welded up, and then uh, we'll test it, and I'll show you guys. What it looks like. All right, we're working on the wastegate right now. So just to kind of give you guys a heads up of what's going on, this is our inlet. We made the the inlet pipe right there. Just kind of cut as you can see, and then we traced it. It's gonna go right here. So basically it's going to sit like this and then this little pipe is going to shoot off into this. Um, I could leave this open, you know, go out with it or whatever, but by what, I, by what I hear that's pretty loud. So I don't think I want this to be that loud. So we're going to run it in there to kind of muffle that a little bit. And then the exhaust, you know, like, like we talked about before, is going to go straight out, which I've just about got that done. So we'll show you that once I get a little bit closer. I'm still welding up on it, but right now we're going to pop this off, drill that out, and then weld this little... That little guy on there so i'll show you when we're done all right guys moving along with this exhaust here in the wastegate just wanted to show you we got the hole drilled and cleaned up quite a bit and the uh right the turbo goes right here and then this just have to get this piece welded on like that whoops sorry get that piece welded on like that then the wastegate sits up here and then we come off the back into the exhaust. Obviously, we'll show you once we get it all buttoned back up. Because as soon as I get this welded on, we'll get this reinstalled, the whole piece. And then we'll just work on that little, little exit piece from the wastegate into the exhaust pipe itself. But that's where we're at. 
All right, guys. Just wanted to show you the finished little, uh, I don't know what you call that, pedestal, I guess, for the wastegate on the hot side right before the turbo. Once I get it all bolted in, I'll show you guys, you know, how it looks and exactly what we got to do next. Then we have this here is the second piece of the exhaust pipe. And Christopher just ran it to here and pretty much called it good. And we welded that little tab on there to mount to the frame. And there's another little mount here. And then that goes in that little uh, cylindrical clamp just by the headers. So yeah, I'm going to get all that bolted back in and then we can finish running the pipe into the, uh, the main exhaust off the wastegate. So yeah, let me get to it and we'll get back with you. All right guys, continuing the exhaust here. So we got the wastegate mounted. He welded that up. He probably showed you that a little pedestal there. So now we just have to go from this one to here. So that's kind of where you see the tape here. We're just doing it with pie cuts for now. And then I made this little piece here. Which you can see, I kind of just did the best I could with a grinder to make it fit like on here because it's going to end up going in like that somewhere. So we just have to find a pie cut basically to fit in here. I think we got one that should be pretty close. It's one of these. Maybe this one. If we put it like that. Like that. Could probably make that work. Like that. You guys get the idea. So it's going to go like that. But what I'm going to do first is weld at least probably these two right here. At least tack weld these these first two coming off here so we can quit this tape just gets to be too much and eventually it won't hold so i'm gonna tack these first two together and then we'll come back test fit it because i know it's gonna move a little bit i don't know if it's gonna push it out maybe and then kind of make our fitting off a little bit so we'll readjust once we get these tacked and then we'll keep trucking and touch. all right so i think we got it just about done right here um, as you can see, it just goes from here to here. I couldn't use my flashlight test to test for leaks. But uh, what I basically did was just stick my mouth up to it and, and just blow around the welds. And if you can blow through, then obviously you got a leak there. So just on the initial test, I got a couple leaks, which I'm going to fill in. I'll mark with a marker and then fill them in. But uh, otherwise, I mean, this thing's about ready to go. As you can see, like I said, we're going to wrap this with the... Uh, with that heat wrap, wrap the headers, and then wrap this part and this part. I have my ugly welds, and I'm one step closer, and then it's just wiring up. And uh, yeah, I think that'll that pretty much concludes the exhaust, man. Like that's that is where it is. We ended up cutting a bunch of it off the bottom. We had it running out to about the midway between the second door, but it, when we made it even with the frame it threw it off under here, right here to where it was touching the frame. So I just cut it off for now, kind of right behind the, I mean, I guess maybe around the dash or something underneath. Cut it off right there just for now. And if anything, I'll just cut a slight angle into a longer piece and weld it back into where it is a little more uh, like even and runs a little more better than just trying to, cause we used the jacket first. We just jacked it up to get the, to get the pipe was kind of hanging like this and the frame went like this. So we just use a jack to jack it up and then we got the pipe even with the frame. It threw it off up here to where it was touching the frame. So I just cut it like right there. And for now, we're just going to cut it there and then we'll uh, at least see if it runs first. And then if it runs, then okay, maybe I'll go well on the pipe and run it out the back. But whatever, I don't know. But that's where we're at. So those two is ready to go. This, I just got a couple welds. To put in there to, to fix the leaks but otherwise i mean it's pretty much how it's going to look other than the fact that it's going to be wrapped but i think the wrap's going to be our next huge uh the next huge hurdle and then the, the wiring stay tuned guys like i said it's, it's getting close so hang in there with us and subscribe like do whatever and we'll get this thing running for you guys and i think it'll be fun Later's.